Last night I ended the broadcast. I was tired. And I watched a bunch of One Piece. I am burning through this this new arc after Thriller Bark, which I do consider to be probably the worst arc of the entire genre. Now that Thriller Bark is over, it's it's slavery time. For those of you who don't know, they're literally we're just doing civil rights, we're doing slavery, we're doing like second class citizens, like how to rob. A, a living, breathing human being of its humanity uh, in the form of fishmen and mermaids. It's incredible. The pace changes so much. Sabaody, uh, the archipelago. I mean, the pacing changes. The violence is kicked up like several notches out of nowhere. I mean, how incredible. It's like, it's like at first you're like, okay, you know, this is a lot of fun. This is a very cozy anime. And then this arc... This arc basically goes from goofy ass thriller bark that's like supposed to be a little spooky, a little goofy, not many lessons learned along the way to just straight up bam right in the fucking face makes you start thinking about, you know, slavery, which I think is is, you know, a a wonderful direction to take with respect to your writing. Thriller bark is one of Zora's best moments and you call yourself a Zora simp? Yeah, no, it's beautiful, but but like also the the rest of it is like so goofy that it's like hard for me to just hyper focus on that yeah did you like nothing happened nothing happened in thriller bark why are you guys why are you guys saying that are you saying that because like that's zoro like zoro saying that yeah i mean that part is cool but like also it's hard man more cj the champ react cj the champ actually hit me up a long time ago to fucking do like a like a react to anime thing together i don't know why it never materialized Yes, you dense fake fan. No, I know that's what Zora said, but like, and that's that's important, but also it still doesn't fucking matter because the arc itself is goofy. The arc itself is like silly. Like the absolute worst boss of all time. Dude, Mo- Moira was like, oh God, just so awful. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, Kuma is cool, but just Moira is so fucking whack. Like it wasn't even good. Also, the dragon people are, are very exciting. I totally understand how, like, this is where Luffy basically is, like, growing into his politics. Like, I can see it being set up. I can, I'm can. i watching the Celestial Dragons and, like, the way they're be- behaving to people. It's just, I don't know. I, I, I think this is, it's, it's building up. It's cooking. It's cooking in a way that only you can cook over the course of 400 episodes, which is what I watched at this point. And... Honestly, that's that's where I'm at. 400 episodes in, and the Celestial Dragon billionaire class, like the the remnants of the old monarchy, you know, I, I see why uh, Luffy is going to start believing in the revolutionary actions of per- perhaps his father, also named Dragon, okay? Yeah, I'm excited. I am a huge fan of everything that's going on in One Piece right now. Um, the, the, uh, the, 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 the ship caster or whatever, like the guy who's supposed to cover their ship is also a Roger captain, which is fucking sick. Like there's a lot of cool characters so far. I'm not talking about fucking uh, Frankie. At first I thought it was going to be like kind of goofy with like the slavers being, uh, you know, the, the biker gang, but they patched that up real quick. They immediately used that as a way to like basically introduce the, a much more serious arc. After the after the spooky like goofy shit at Thriller Bark, like they wanted to basically, I think, transition into like something uh, more serious by uh, you know maybe slowly dialing back the goof, which is what they did. Thoughts on the Binks Brew song? I like the Binks Brew song. I do like the Binks Brew song, but also at the same time, uh, it's it gets a little repetitive for sure. Yeah, I just I need more from Brooke. He's just an extra on the side. You know what I mean? And maybe, maybe the, the, the crew is getting kind of fat. You know what I mean? I do like them though. Anyway, so that's, that's what I got on, uh, that's what I got on the One Piece stuff. That's where I'm at cruising through. I met the guy who only watches your One Piece update. He's real, bro. Of course that's real. Look at this. What you're talking about is literally like, of course it's fucking real that there are people out there who only care about my One Piece updates. I was a very vocal enemy to One Piece fandom. And now you have a, a, a dude who's making uh, Hasana bits, making One Piece updates specifically, and that has its own fucking audience. Like, look at this. This is no joke. 
103,000 viewers. Like, this was before I even touched it. I didn't even know this existed. And this motherfucker had, like, 100K viewers on his, like, you know?